So we went away travelling to France with a group of family and friends. We flew from Gatwick Airport, which is in London, and we flew straight to Nantes, which there we hired a car and we drove to Van for a few nights. At the airport we stopped at a cafe called Sonoma, which is my favourite place at Gatwick Airport to eat. It has fresh gorgeous food, so I had a granola bowl and a smoothie. When we got to Van, we started exploring straight away. There are so many gorgeous little side streets and the houses are just really crazy but gorgeous to look at. And it was so inspirational. I just couldn't wait to get my sketchbook out and start painting them. There was a gorgeous harbour where we sat and ate a panini. So we were a little bit tired from travelling all day but it was so beautiful just to take in the gorgeous surroundings and we had a really, really nice evening just chilling out with friends. Something that I noticed that as the sun was setting, because all the buildings were very light and pale in colour, they reflected the sunset colours so beautifully and the sky turned this gorgeous shade of pink and just the glow from the buildings just created this really nice atmosphere. By night time it turned even more magical with the street lights shining up the buildings showing all the intricate details of the structures. Yeah, it was so beautiful even at night. And here's my vlog introduction after a couple of glasses of wine. We are in France. Is it France? Yeah. France. 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 We're in French. That being we're in French, France. We're in France. France. La France. In France. Yes, well done, Katie. So the next day we decided to explore a little bit further and we went around the gardens which were absolutely stunning. As you can see I took so many photographs and thankfully I brought my sketchbook so I was starting to sketch in a little bit of a painting. If you guys want to see all the sketches and paintings from this trip then I'm going to be uploading a different video where I'm just showing you everything from a sketchbook so that will be coming very soon so hang tight for that video. Hey everybody and welcome to Van! Yesterday we arrived in the beautiful sunny French city of Van. We stayed over last night and we're also staying here tonight and then tomorrow we're going to a villa half an hour away so we're taking in the beauty of the city. I think it's the city. We think it's the city. It's so beautiful. There's loads of old... Uh, what would you call that? This is a rampart. Rampart. But loads of old beautiful buildings. We're currently in the gardens which are very French style, very beautiful and there's some lovely little restaurants and cafes 
And so yeah, we're just wandering around, taking in the scenery, taking in some inspiration. And I've got my sketchbook in my bag. I've not brought my paints with me because we're doing a lot of sightseeing today. So I'm going to take lots of pictures, do some sketches, and then maybe paint them a little bit later. So yeah, we're having a little romantic walk. Beautiful. We just found this cute little house thing and we don't know what's inside so we're going to check it out. Oh wow! That is so cute! Thank you. Ooh, oh, I love this! How cool is this? Yeah, but it was a bit wider and it had a little cafe, that would be really cute. I love how like the water, the light is like shimmering on that wall as well. Oh. And on the ceiling. So after some research, it turned out it was actually a washing station for people to wash their clothes. And But it was a really nice place to cool off from the sun. So we carried on our travels and we found a beautiful little bar overlooking the harbour and we just sat and chilled for a bit and had some French wine. So that's where we were just sat having a drink. Hey. Hi. So we decided to get from the bakery a poulet pizza bread. And we've got water and we're just sat looking at this cute canal. So we all went out for dinner together as it was the last night in Van and again the city had just such a beautiful atmosphere. I definitely felt like the hustle and bustle of a busy harbour with everyone eating and drinking. It was just a, a lovely place to be at night. The next morning we got up a little bit earlier and we got a pastry and a coffee, which Nathan kindly picked the remnants off my face. Good morning! So this morning we've got up, we've just checked out the hotel. We've got a little coffee and a pastry and we've just found a really nice park bench overlooking the city. And you can see that that's where I was taking photos and doing some sketching yesterday. And then later we're heading to the villa. So yeah. Drink me like a pet. <laughs> it's very pretty here. It's very peaceful. You can hear the birds. Mm. I could sit here for hours, actually. I'm surprised you're not sketching. Mm, good idea. Wow, this is not what I was expecting. Very French still there. It's not very busy. Can't see anybody. So we came on a little walk to try and find a lake. We found the lake. We found it! Woohoo! Finally. It's not quite as uh, green as I imagined. Green? But it, as in like there's roads and but it is pretty. You say the lake's very green. The lake's very green. There's lots of algae going on in there. <laughs> it looks kind of disgusting. It looks like. Oh. Remember, get your own back. Yeah, the sludge. The sludge. <laughs> Leaving a trail. <laughs> it looks like a like squid that would leave an ink trail or. I really love the shape of those trees. 
Which one's your favourite fish then? Out of all them? Uh, Mine's Latantia. Tanji. Uh, Ew! <laughs> so after jumping in the car and saying goodbye to Van, we headed to the villa which was only about half an hour drive away and the villa's right next to the coast which I was very excited about because as you guys know I love the sea. We made it! So we've just wandered down from the house and here we are at the beach! And it's even bigger and better than I expected. It's very rocky but that's cool. I like climbing the rocks and seeing the sea and it smells fishy. That sea air. So we've just been wandering around the rocks and I just keep seeing like little things move in the water. I think they're little fish. Let's see what you think. The little shrimps. Hello. <laughs> they're actually all coming to say hi. That's really weird. They're not scared, are they? The villa was really nice when we got there and they had the most beautiful hydrangeas outside. They were so delicate and pretty. So this is our balcony. It's just overlooking the sea, which you can just see here. It's a gorgeous view to sit with a cup of coffee in the morning. And this is the downstairs. So I thought I'd show you guys what I brought for supplies for painting. This is everything that I brought. So I've got my Mission Gold watercolour set. It looks a little bit disgusting because it's very dirty, it needs cleaning. Um, but I've raved about this watercolour set a lot on my channel. Um, I'll leave the li link in the description box. Yeah, they're really, really beautiful to use. This is my moleskin sketchbook. Um, it's a watercolour sketchbook and it's one that I've used quite a lot. Um, this is obviously a brand new sketchbook because I filled my other ones. So far I've done a sketch in watercolour of my aeroplane window and my drink. And this is what I started yesterday that I'm going to carry on with now. Um, it's the maps of all the places we travelled to to get here. And that's it, that's all I've done so far, but I've got lots of plans that I'm going to hopefully do over the next few days for painting and drawing. I've got a watercolour paintbrush where you put the water in the actual container here. I can't remember where I got this from, but it was a very, very cheap watercolour brush. Um, you can pick them up at a lot of places now. Then I've got a Pentel Fiesta pencil, which which is a really good pencil for fine detail and the rubber on the end is really, really fantastic which can sometimes be an issue with these um, so that's a really good tool to have and here are my trusty pens that I use for details
So because the past few days had been very busy, we decided just to chill out at the villa that day. I really wanted to do some painting and Nathan was very happy just floating in the pool. Um, so not much happened that day, but uh, the next day we actually decided to jump in the car again and start exploring. We went to Rochefort-en-Terre and we found a gallery there which I was very excited about and not expecting. I love the sea ones. Oh wow, look at these palettes. Those palettes look. So cool. How would you even use a palette like that? That would be so annoying. <laughs> Unless he just dumps it I was going to say, as he scraped it all, all the different... I was going to say, if you're getting paint, it would just get in all the crevices, wouldn't his it? actual palette. Inside the gallery, there was a little window peering into his studio where he creates. And that was really cool. I just love seeing where other artists create. Then we headed further into the village. Just explored, basically. So we're just exploring a little town, well, a little village, and there's like really cool little. What do you say this is? A jetty. A jetty. A jetty. You would do, yeah. We're just exploring these really cute little jetties. Have a look. So cute. It's tiny. Can you imagine if that be, that was your window there, and everyone's walking past. Yeah. A lot of people. Oh, it's a steep hill. When we got to the top, we looked over and the view was so unique. In fact, it's inspired one of my paintings in my sketchbook, which you'll see in the next video. Next, we headed to Ore which is another little town, I'd say, uh, with a harbour and it's very cute and very French. We found a pub and had very fortunate seats right on the edge, so I got out my sketchbook and I was very happy to start sketching. So we've come on a coastal walk and it's a really nice day, it's not too hot and it's perfect for walking in and we're right by the edge of the coast, it's very very beautiful, the, the water is like so still and calm but we're going to try and get a bit of a march on because we've got quite a lot of ground to cover yet. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. That evening there was the most amazing sunset, so we headed down to the beach, I took my sketchbook and paints and got myself set up on a little rock and did some painting.
But we also had a bonfire which was really good fun and we toasted marshmallows. And me and mum even performed a little grease lightning number for the group, which now that I look back was pretty embarrassing, but you know what they say, when in France. <laughs> So the next day, which was in fact our last day, me and Nathan wanted to drive out to explore the different towns that were around the peninsula of where we were staying. So we just got to another little village that is near where we're staying and I can't remember the name so I'll pop the name of the village here and um, it's very pretty and yeah we're just going to have a little wander around and explore. Just got a little pan of chocolat. So totally by accident we stumbled on the most beautiful beach that was really empty so we decided to set up for the afternoon and just enjoy the sea. Then it was time to head back to the villa and pack our bags. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed that little adventure. As I mentioned, I will be uploading the sketchbook video very, very soon, so hang tight for that. And thank you so much, guys, for your support. See you. Bye.